Ready for action, nip it in the bud, we never relax in, grow house is everlasting. Woo! 420, my dudes. 420, my dudes. Welcome to this lovely, belovely Tuesday. Yes, belovely Tuesday. Um, it's It's been, you know, as always, it's been a wild week already in cannabis. Woo. Things happen so quickly in this industry. Isn't it rad? Yeah, it's it's amazing. Every day something new happens. They legalize something somewhere like very hush hush and then boom, yeah, yeah. Cult- culture shift. Right. It's like instant culture shift. What's going to happen? So <gasps> awesome. So we- dope. So glad we're in the dope game. Yeah, yeah. I absolutely am too. Um want to give a shout out today to Monarch. Monarch. Monarch Glass, our friends at Monarch. Um this was just this is our first couple's bong. It's a great, they have great products. <laughs> uh, Monarch uh, does kind of look like Mohawk, I, w- I want to say. <laughs> the logo does we look got, like, yeah. Yeah, let me see that. It, it, it does. Yeah. It's Monarch. It's Monarch, and these pieces are so beautiful. Um, I remember we, we went in and bought this because I just, I hadn't taken a, Huge bone rip in so long. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Well, you had never really ripped a big bad boy. A big bad boy. Um, and on your exhale, will you please tell us, uh, everyone at home and uh, and me, what we're smoking today? Woo! It, <laughs> it exhales Blood Walker. beautifully. It's, it's beautiful. Blood Walker? Blood Walker by Ooh. L.A. Kush. Oof. Mm, One of some, my We've skywalking on those haters. We've yeah. Blood, blood walking. Walk what do you what What do you think the high of blood walker is like? Um, well, we're about to find out. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like I'm on a spaceship. No, it's good. Obviously, this is um, well, not obviously. We've had blood walker before. Yeah. Um, this is actually. I mean, we're we're frequent buyers of blood walker. It's just a nice strain. It's fun. Um, you know, there's a little bit of a body high. Um, it's just a nice hybrid, you know. It's just a nice all around. All I purpose. almost smoked out of the mic again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, babe, we need to make like a oh, bong yeah. attachment for the mic so you can keep your keep your. We mouth. can just cast and rip. Yeah, it's a, it's a rip and cast. Um, as you can see, we had ice in the bong. That cools things off oh, quite yeah. nicely. A little chilly. Yeah. It's- oh, there's some more smoke. Oh, there. here, do you want it? No. You want that smoke? You trying to get that smoke? You trying to get that smoke, girl? You trying to get that smoke? I'm always trying to get that smoke. Um, True story. But, so yeah, that's what we're smoking today and um, love it. Speaking of smoking today, I had the best day. Um, Talk to me. I had a a meeting. You know how we do... um, (laughs) I had a meeting. I had a meeting. I had a business meeting. Um, It was a meeting. It was a meeting uh, with my girlfriend. Um, truth be told. And uh, we talked a little business, but we mostly talked about life. But it was just made so much more enjoyable with a little, just with a little bitty weed. Yeah? You know, yeah, just a little, just sort just of a turned, little up the pop. It turned it up a little bit. Um, it was fun. We yeah. got to play with um, her baby, who is almost one now. Um, she had her nanny over. That felt very posh. The nanny was over and we were having girl time. Right. So that was. So that's how that went uh, in my life. Brad. How no. rad is it to play with a child when you're stoned? Like looking into a, a kid's eyes or just like kind of playing imagination with them or just holding an infant. Dude. It's just like connects you to the core. Yes. Yes. It really does. And you can just be present, you know, be in the moment, um, like get down on their level and, you know, see the. Uh, the world from their eyes. Okay, Bloodwalker. <laughs> <laughs> Bloodwalker may, a side effect may make you a little corny. <laughs> Cor- <laughs> corkney. <laughs> corny. Corny, corny, corny. Um, so today we, uh, we wanted to talk a little bit about, drum roll please, <laughs> May is Mental Health Month. Boom. Yeah, Mental how's Health your, Awareness. How's your mind? Right? Uh, get your mind right. Um, and, and so many, they're just so much, such a strong association between cannabis and mental health Yes. on both sides of the debate. If there even is a debate, if a debate even exists, it's 
talk about it, but you know, <laughs> let's debate it if it exists. Yeah, one of the <laughs> one of the research pieces statistics is that um, people who use cannabis are more inclined to mental illness or psychoses. Oh yeah, um, yeah. But you know, it's, it's how true it's is a, that? But it, well, here's the thing: it's a medicine, right? Right. It's a medicine that we use. Right. You know, how true is that? That's very true. What's the, I mean, even with prescription drugs, too much of it can make you fucking looped out of your mind. Right. I think the assumption, though, is that there's the stigma behind mental illness, you know, and what we call mental illness. Right. I mean, listen, okay. Ain't ain't everybody a little fucked up? Listen, listen, (laughs) you never go full retard, man. (laughs) Never go full retard. (laughs) What movie? Uh, uh, Tropic Thunder. Thank you. Jeez, I love that movie. Um, but seriously, you, you, I mean, just being able to talk about it, which is why May, Mental Health Month, um, you know, is a nice time to, to bring up the conversation. Yeah. And of course, we're going to wrap it up in cannabis. Right. And serve it to you. Yeah, well, um, let's talk about that. Mental health is a, an important thing. I think um, our society for the first time is sort of progressing towards uh, mental health and sort of a community feeling of, of everyone feeling well. Mm-hmm. Wellness. Um, we're, yeah, Hashtag. Yeah, right. And we're failing at it, but we're also gaining little strides here and there. And I think CBD and cannabis are definitely like in the picture now as, oh yeah, fuck what you've heard. Uh, you want to get heart centered. You want to turn in and tune. You want to tune in to the person that you're fighting with or you want to like just have a new perspective and a breath on things. Yeah. Smoke it is. <laughs> and to talk it out. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Smoke this. Talk it out. Oh my God. Well, um, I, you know, as you know, Patrick, I used to be a therapist. Talk uh, to me. Many people out there may not know that. You know, it's um, kind of awesome. Uh, yeah. Just being your husband and you being a therapist. Well. Or ex ther You know, or it isn't an ex. Are you an ex? that <laughs> yeah right um ex therp well i don't know i never like it was never part of like my, my identity you know uh-huh. like there's some people who are like i'm a therapist you know it's just like uh i'm a therapist and that's their thing <laughs> man that's their thing and good you know they're they keep the machine going um but for me you know i did it i think because i was fascinated with i mean just the just psychology. And I think because I needed a lot of therapy. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, it it was great. It it was wonderful. I I really loved, I really loved it. I loved every minute. Yeah, It was wonderful. But if I had cannabis when I was doing therapy, oh my God. I mean, both ways. If I had cannabis, if, you know, my, my clients had cannabis, Yeah, we had cannabis together. Yeah. Could really like freaking like with the kids, you gotta, you 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 can get on each other's level right. with weed. Oh yeah, totally, dude. One of my um, clients was so they were all so awesome, and uh, I tended to see like adolescents and then people in their twenties because I was you know fucking in my twenties, so late twenties. But he was. All, he was getting high all the time, yeah. all the fucking time. And he came in to get help with that. And I can remember, you know, I wasn't, I didn't use cannabis at the time. Um, I didn't have negative thoughts about it. Uh-huh. Um, it but you weren't defi- a user. No, I wasn't a user. I mean, I was in Texas mm-hmm. yeah. and small town Texas. And, you know, it was just like not a thing. Right. You know, I'd used it and I liked it. And I was very, very interested about like the effects of THC and, you know, different things with women. And I, I wrote my dissertation on THC and postpartum depression. Yeah. You know, it's like, so cool. It's, I would love to read that. Do you yeah. have a copy? You got a copy? You know, I, 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 Yo, can I cop do. that? I do. That's my computer. That's my <laughs> laptop, dude. It's heavy. It's like a brick. I love but it. But I have it. And, and I'll give that to you. But uh, it was just interesting to me because my mom suffered from postpartum depression and I was pregnant. In grad school, so I was like Ooh. fucking scared, yeah, and like as needing weed but uh-huh. not having access to it. So wow, did you did you experience postpartum depression? Um, you know, I don't think I did. Yeah, I don't think I did. Um, it was definitely highs and lows for yeah. sure. But and what you know, is, what exactly what is postpartum depression? Well, it's just a, it's a chemical imbalance in you know in a mom's new mom's brain. Yeah. You know, and, and hormones, you know, yeah. I mean, you just, 
given birth. There's a fuck ton of things going on. And, um, you know, biology takes over. Right. And that's how I see it and saw it. You know, my, you know, that's how my mom described it to me. Yeah. And so it's just, you know, that's, that's really that's rough. God damn. And it's a thing. Fucking give birth. What's, and, and then you're depressed. So, like, so I kind of believe that we have some of these things or patterns in us genetically because of something. Yes. Right. What would be the genetic reason for that? Well, Dude, I don't know. You're asking those big questions. <laughs> Yo, why is the sky blue? <laughs> I don't know. I wish. Yeah. You know, you wish you knew. But I do know this, that moms today, thank God, have access to CBD. At least. At least. Yeah. CBD. Farm bill passed. Fucking hemp's going to be everywhere. I mean, it's insane. Right. It's beautiful. So exciting. It's all happening. It is. It is. And so it's like at least mom's going to get a fucking CBD bath bomb. Like, yeah. I would love a goddamn nonprofit. And, and I really, I, I see them everywhere. I mean, I hope they're everywhere. Yeah. I know there are women out there thinking this way. Oh, yeah. You know, that are thinking about ways to get, you know, CBD and, and get this beautiful plant in the hands right. of other women you know, who may not have access so readily. Right. You know, man, I read a head, just kind of, kind of going on the CBD wellness train. Yeah. Uh, choo choo. read a headline that was, uh, baby that was going through chemo mm-hmm. child with cancer going through chemo. Yeah. Um, immediately stopped convulsing and seizing upon one drop of one mm-hmm. squash of CBD tincture. Well, and um, I didn't click it, but man, I hope that's true. You, it. you should have freaking clicked it. I man. know, but I mean, I, I believe these stories are are popping up because yeah, something magic is happening because of the legalization. Because it's gonna be everywhere. It's gonna be everywhere. Hallelujah. Mental health. Men, men, mental mental health. <laughs> it's it's a it's a motherfucker. Sometimes it's mental illness. And Liz, I, I sometimes think, it's mental wellness. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Man, sometimes when oh, I think when I think man. about people that just need to hear, you know, a message when they're when they're men, you know going through some hard stuff mentally, is just remember to. I wish you would step back from that it ledge, my happen. friend. We could. <laughs> How does it go? <laughs> I'm not gonna do that for people who are listening. I would understand. <laughs> <laughs> who sings that? Third Eye Blind. Oh, Dude. they got. I bet they're still going. Dude, you they, know they're still going. They got that hit magic, you know? Do you want to know something? Yes. Ah! Hot Confessions. We done did it. Hot, Hot confessions. confessions. Third Liz, Eye did it. it. <laughs> Third Eye Blind. Yes. Lead singer. Slept with my friend. Oh. oh. It was probably about a decade ago. Damn. But it happened. Shiza. I'm not going to give any additional deets. And we're not going to drop names, uh-uh. but shout out to that person. Shout out to both of those people. Dude, I would understand. I wish you would step <laughs> back, back from, from that. that ledge, my friend. Okay. Oh, my God. Most interesting people. So, great. So, mental health. Yes. What were you? With you. Okay. I was going to say mental health and secrets. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hot confessions. (laughs) I almost just spit my wine, dude. (laughs) Go. I mean, I'm just thinking (laughs) about the stoner culture in general and, you know, the conversation that we were having today about, like, the secrecy. Of it all, yeah. still today. Yeah, you know, well, you you called strange. yourself the loner stoner. Yes, the wolf definitely. out in the shadow. In in a shadow, the, of the smoke. wolf in the cloud. In the fucking cloud, is dude. Right? You were the wolf in the cloud. I was smoking by yourself. Yes, lone I was. wolfing. You were the ti- to. you were the tiger in that ganja forest. I was. <laughs> man. Ooh, I, like, I like that visual. Yeah. That would be a nice tattoo or a nice piece of art. Yeah, a tiger in a ganja forest. Dude, weed tattoos. Yes. That's some real shit. Yeah. You get a tattoo of a weed, of a that, <laughs> of a that. Damn. Of a weed leaf. That's fucking awesome. Dude, that's real shit. That's beautiful. That's your heart. You know, I love it. I love it. It's Uh, so great. So, yeah, so Loner Stoner, I mean, now, you know, the weed culture has kind of taken on a life of its own. 
you know, or, or just, I mean, obviously like a new life, yeah. what does the modern culture look like? And there are influencers, you know, on Instagram who are, you know, so fucking interesting and into one facet of the weed culture, you yeah. know, um, and new people emerge every day. I just, I feel like it's so much less secretive, but still secretive when you actually want to like consume. Yes. Right. We're all yes. talking about it. Yeah. We're all, you know, but it's like, wearing it, we've, you know? I think, I think you and I've definitely talked about just like the, the people that work. And you're like, yeah. there's like those little hints or ha- those little hints happen. Like, yeah. <laughs> you, know, or, you know, sometimes I just wish there was no alcohol here. We could just smoke weed or something. And then they're like, yeah, yeah me too. And then you're like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. You want to go smoke some weed? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, yeah, the culture of secrecy. Yeah, and, and it's we've always, it's been that way, you know, because you risk your freedom. Yeah. You know, in every case, still federally. Right. Everybody's so fucking afraid. Truly. Uh. It is scary yeah. to think about and know, you know. Yeah. That it's out there. So I digress. Secretive fucking culture, but we yeah. can all talk about it now. Yeah. And laws are being passed and it's pretty awesome. Yeah. So. And it's so much so that it's starting to get out there. We were talking about... Um, yeah. There are states starting to legalize the lounging. Yeah. The legalize. cannabis, the cannabis lounge. <laughs> oh my God. I want to, I want to see a can of boom in can of babies. Can of, dude. You heard it here first, y'all. Can of boom in can of babies with these lounges. I would, if I were single and I'm not, and I would still go to the cannabis lounge yeah. and we would still hang out with these beautiful people because everybody, you know, this, you know, the cannabis culture, there's Dude, a very fucking beautiful what, like, right. side to this culture. It's not dark, you know? Yes, it's not dark. It's beautiful, yeah. you know? So, um, man, what, what if be hot. The, there are going to be hot babies. There are. What if the next generation of kids was called, like, Canicans. instead of the baby boomers, you know, like, and, and we get away from all this gene shit, but, you know, these generations. To the can of kids. The can of kids, dude. I need them to be Are you a can of kidder? Yeah, I can tell. Dude. You're all chill. You're all perfect. kind of, like, but kind of motivated. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. It's amazing. Yeah. It's so great to see, you know, Steve D'Angelo is really, um, he's traveling around the world doing his cannabis renaissance talks. Yes. And it's so fucking awesome to see yeah. because he is a can of kid. Yeah. You know, like there's this, there's this feeling in this community that we belong to that, you know, we're very much a year ago when we decided to go all in here, we, the community op- welcomed us with open arms, yeah. you know, but we were, you know, not based in LA. We were not based in Portland. We were not based in Denver. Yeah. So, um, what I'm trying to say is that <laughs> the culture and the community is so it's ageless. Right. It's like there are, you know, the Steve D'Angelo who's like a can of kid. There's like us, there are younger, you know, activists coming up. Um, you know, just really, really exciting. Yeah. Keep that mic here. Oh, sorry. Just bring it. You know, you want to keep it. Yeah. I was hitting it earlier. Right. Oh dude, I've been okay. smacking my thing. And at any moment, if I hit it, it'll just dangle. <laughs> Oh my God, it'll dangle, Jim dangle. So, um, you know, the cannabis is ageless track going there. Can we talk about Willie Nelson? Will, 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 Willie! Willie, Dude. we love you, Willie, our redheaded stranger. We started our Willie Nelson giveaway this week. Willie Nelson, who done dealt? With Willie's Reserve. Follow them at Willie's Reserve Official and um, Willie's Remedy. Yeah. Our friends over there. We are giving away two amazing, amazing, amazing experiences. Not just tickets, not just tickets, but experiences to um, attend his Love Ranch um, during South by and to just roll with the freaking crew. You know? Sorry, I'm not even talking into the mic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to have to edit that out. We're going to have to fun. amp that. <laughs> we're going to roll with the crew, and um, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be an awesome time. It's actually next spring. Yeah. And he just had a birthday, and he's on the cover of Rolling Stone. The so, cover. Willie. Free Willie. 
free cannabis. <laughs> free cannabis for Willie. Free cannabis for Willie. Don't yeah. you want to see Texas cannabis get legalized before he parts on over? We have to roll him up and smoke him legally. Oh, man. That reminds me of my grand. I'm sorry. I just remembering Willie Nelson and just saying him crossing over. My grandfather's funeral, they played one of his favorite songs, which was Blue Skies by Willie Nelson. Oh. It is such a just, like, you cannot yes. listen yeah. to that song. Yeah, smiling yeah. at me, nothing but blue skies, do I see? And that twangy, oh, it's so just... So good. So good. It hits you right in the heart. Not when we sing it, but when he sings it. Oh, no, it. not when I sing it at all. It <laughs> makes you want to turn the podcast off and say, delete. <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> delete, but subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Please, just do it. Just see what happens. Just relax and see what happens. Anyway, so stay tuned. The Big Willie giveaway. Yes, the <laughs> Big Willie <laughs> giveaway. <laughs> the Big Willie giveaway. The Big Willie giveaway. Um, Man, uh, yeah. yeah, stay tuned. We got we got surprises coming. Um, Good. And and next week we got surprises coming too. We're gonna do a little. We're gonna show off these products Where? by our good friends at Ghost. 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 Ghost vapes. Ghost um, vapes. I'm just going to show you. When you open up the coffin, it's like, coffin. Oh, it's a vape coffin. <laughs> <laughs> it is like a lightsaber. It's like a friggin' lightsaber. They're so beautiful. We have only caressed them, okay? We haven't taken them out and touched them. We are going to unbox on Thursday, and it's going to be amazing. We got the his and hers. The his and hers. I think we got them engraved. The dodly odlies. <laughs> uh, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna check them out and and show you how it's done. Yeah, we're gonna you know? go we're gonna go vape fucking crazy. The M V one. Remember, guys, uh, we're talking about. Weed and cultural change. Yes. And uh, if there are people that want to have this conversation with us, please like and subscribe, share. Yeah. Tell us what you're thinking. Talk about the modern weed culture and 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 tell us, you know, tell us what to do. Tell us what what you're uh, what you're thinking, because uh, that's what we want to know. We want to yeah. get out there and start interviewing people and share the good word. Share the good word. Um, I want to do. I want to give one more shout out. Shout out, um, Amy Mothercraft. Okay. I've been wearing this bracelet, this power cuff, if you will, for probably about three months. And um, she is this amazing Portland can of mom who crafts like a mofo, makes the funniest fucking videos, and makes these bracelets. Has an Etsy shop. I'm going to, I'll link this. Um, but it's amazing. This power cuff is amazing. I love it so much. And uh, I just, I wanted it. Do that. I wanted to give her a shout out. Yeah, it's rad. I love it. It's got weed leads on it, of you course. Look, you look pretty boss. It gives me power. Yeah. Here in Texas, I wear it proudly and people are looking at it and they're like, oh, really? Do you have some? Yeah, of course. <laughs> You're like, I ain't a dealer. Yeah, people are I'm never, not a damn dealer. People are never mean. People yeah. are nice. It's, you know, yeah. it's time. Of course. It's time. Um, I think it's time to go. Four twenty. Yeah, what up, cowboy? Yeah, what up, cowboy?